You fought your way out of the hell and managed to return, but now the demons have stalked their claim on Mars. You must find a way to shut down the hell portal Olivia created. The Argent Tower is destroyed. The portal can no longer be closed from this side. The Hell Energy flows from a location in their world we call the Well. But you've returned. The only flesh and blood to walk between dimensions. <laughs> so there may be a way. Vega is trying to access Olivia's files. If you can get to the nearest terminal, we will provide you with information. That's all for now. And that brings us to today's episode. Hello everybody, my name is Rolak. Welcome back to Doom. In the last episode, we fought our way out of hell and managed to make our way back to the UAC. In today's episode, uh, we are obviously going to be going into the next level and trying to shut down the hell portal. Now I'm going to be upgrading my mobile turret upgrade here to update the deploy time so it's not as slow as usual. And this may sound weird, but this is actually a post-commentary uh, thing going on right here. So... What happened was that I had a bit too much on my plate to do some recording stuff here and there, so we're more or less going to be doing a post-commentary thing, um, <clears throat> mainly because I didn't have enough time to actually record anything today, and I thought it would be a bit too unnecessary to record something so late in the day, so I'm going to be doing some audio work here and basically posting a video once it goes out. This is going to be the same case for the next episode as well, so I do apologize that it's not one-to-one -one with the gameplay, but... It's the best I could do for it. So, starting off, uh, challenges in this mission are going to be... You have to kill five enemies with the chainsaw, which is fairly easy enough if you just kill the small guys. Uh, kill a revenant in the mid-air, as well as... What was the other one? I forget the other one. But the Doom Classic Levels lever is right there at the beginning, probably the easiest one to get to. And the entrance to it is going to be directly below it right here it's a pretty small one it's the what is this one called i can't see that under under hold something i don't know i can't see it from here <laughs> waste a bit of ammo just to pick up the shotgun here um and what was it? it was kill five with the chainsaw kill a revenant while it's in midair this is also the first second proper secret being the first uh doom guy model which is rage guy what was the other one? I can't remember what it is. Oh well. Um, oh, if we collect three codexes, which are fairly easy to do in their own right. Yeah, this mission's it's pretty simple. You're just going from point A to point B and not really doing anything super interesting. We don't even really get any new... Well, we get one new equipment piece in this level. <clears throat> this level isn't really anything super special. There's not like any new super interesting weapons here. A lot of background enemies. These enemies you can't kill at all. <laughs> it's me shaking my head there. Now I should note, once you get to this part, you can't actually go back and get those two secrets that we got before. So do make sure to collect those before you head down here. And right here we'll find our first elite token. And grab some ammo there as well. Now this is actually a second recording of the whole spot because, well, I'll go into a, into a bit because it's going to be talking here. Olivia has an artifact in her private lab that we've been studying for years. I believe you can use it to find the answers you seek. It bears your mark. Olivia's personal laboratory is not part of the registered facilities database. Alpha level clearance will be required to locate it. Granted. You can access her Lazarus facility from the north sector of the Advanced Research Complex, about 80 kilometers away. I'll bring the tram power online to take you there, but you'll need a UAC Corporate Facilities Clearance Card to activate it. There is a security station nearby. Yeah, it's going to be our main objective for the mission is to just get a security card so we can get onto the tram system to get to the Lazarus facility. That's going to be our second codex right there. Um, so yeah, this is the second take. And we did actually complete the vacuum challenge, so we're going to replace it with Seek and Destroy, I think it was. I don't remember. Um, 
<clears throat> this is the second recording take because the first time I did this, I accidentally skipped the first collectible, which was stupid because it's right outside of the classic level, so I don't know how I missed that. But I did because, you know, I'm an idiot and that's how things work here. Um, but yeah, this level isn't all that it's super interesting. This is, I think, going to be the <clears throat> place where I get most challenges complete. I think I get two challenges complete here. I get the challenge for the mobile sentry, and I also get the challenge for the assault rifle complete. And this is me trying to get the kill on the revenant. I, m I mistook the thing for killing it. For you have to be... I mistook it because it didn't, I didn't read it super clearly because it says you have to kill it while it's jumping, not while you're jumping. Which, you know, is kind of a tricky thing to do, but if you just get a really powerful weapon that's quick, like, say, the, the railgun or something, then it shouldn't be too much of a hassle. This is also really a stressful moment for me right here. There's no problem. Yeah, Seek and Destroy, where you, uh... <coughs> excuse me. Where you, uh... able to launch into, uh... Your God, I'm getting destroy here. There's a challenge, not for Skeet Shot. Seek and Destroy is you're able to, uh... go into glory kills from a much larger range. Which are which is very helpful for when you just want to get some kills in. I'm not too sure what the complete challenge is for this. I think it's something good, I just can't remember. It's funny how better I am when focusing when I'm not talking all the time, but it's really not even that great. <laughs> Probably because I'm recording. As the time I'm recording this, the uh, newest... I think there's like new DLC for Doom Eternal that came out today. I haven't played that yet. I haven't even have Eternal downloaded yet. Well, I have it down. I had I've had it downloaded before. I just uninstalled it for later use. <clears throat> I was speaking of like drives and stuff. Um, something really weird happened. So I was uploading the what was it the previous episode? Was it the previous episode? I think it was the 30 minute one. Yeah, where we're getting out of hell. Uh, that one took like an hour and a half to upload properly. I'm not too sure why. It just did not want to record. Well, the first part was the issue because it got up to like 80% uploaded on YouTube. And then my data drive disappeared again. There's a weird graphical glitch right there of the rope. <clears throat> but yeah, my data drive, which hasn't disappeared since I played Soul Silver, suddenly disappeared while it was rendering, which sucks because. It wasn't supposed to do that because it's not supposed to. It doesn't work if the drive just disappears while it still has the video in the data drives. But I'm not, I don't know what's going on with the rendering and stuff here and there. I don't know why I brought up the pistol there. That was really stupid. I'm trying to get more double kills with the the what's it called the. Super shotgun. I'm not gonna get that finished in <laughs> uh, this mission. What I am gonna get finished is definitely the assault rifle for the scope and the uh, deployable minigun. Yeah, see right there, we're getting pretty close. We're like 28, I think that says. I'm watching it from Vegas Studio, so I can't really see it's super close. It's a Vegas Studio, when you're watching it, it's a bit blurry. It doesn't deploy like that once you actually render the video properly, but for some reason it just doesn't look that great when I actually upload it. I don't know what's going on with that. I think I might need to get a new... I need to get... I just need to get a computer that can actually record stuff, like, properly. <laughs> without any issue. Because I, do, I am getting some slight encoding issues here and there, but they're not too serious. Because... It says encoding is overloaded, but it's only for like a split second that it activates. Anyway, we've got a new rune trial here. This is going to be pretty simple. We're just going to be running through that same course we did with the, uh... With those imps where we were just shooting them to move. This one's a bit similar as we just got to collect the hell relics and just run along. This one will get you in-flight mobility. What this does is this basically makes you really m good moving around in the air. Like, once you hit your double jump, you'll be able to pretty much go in any direction. It's a great one if you just want mobility, but it's not really, you know, super great for recommendations. Uh, to get it fully upgraded, I do believe you just have to kill a bunch of enemies while you're in the air. I think it's like 50 enemies killed in the air or something like that. Something like that. I can't quite remember what it is, but I think it's something very similar to that. 
I mean, this one's pretty simple. Just do some jumps side to side. It's very simple. Not at all difficult to get really done. <clears throat> yeah, more maneuverability after a double jump, which you know is helpful if you want to have more maneuverability while in the air. But all in all, it's not... I mean, it's a, it's a good rune. It's not a terrible rune by any means whatsoever. It's just not, you know, the one that you should be using all the time. We uh, this <clears throat> this rune getting us getting this rune actually does uh, give us the third open slot for a rune, so we are able to equip more than two now, which is good because I think I go and re-equip the equipment one. I think can't quite remember which one I equip. Is it? It's the equipment one. No, it's the ammo boost. Yeah, I put the ammo boost on just because I could probably get some better ammo going on. I don't know. I replaced that soon after with the one that we get later in the mission. <coughs> oh, and my fucking computer just went off because I'm not doing anything. Good lord. There we go. <coughs> I should probably just be watching the recording, but I'm just watching it in um, Vegas. I don't know why. I feel like it's not a great idea to do. Pick up Berserk here. And interesting thing, uh... <coughs> Seek and Destroy actually affects Berserk's range as well. Because you can see that it's going up with the uh, kills we're getting here. So if you want to get some more advantages with Rampage or Berserk, definitely pick up Seek and Destroy because it gets really good range with that. And from that, I think we kill off all the demons. Nope, there's big old Mancubus here. <coughs> Yeah, the deployable sentry is such a good um, weapon mod. It is definitely my favorite for the chain gun. I mean, the rotating the ro rotating barrel is definitely a, also a good upgrade if you just want to just shoot things without having to wait for a delay. But the mobile sentry is also very, very good if you just want to kill things pretty much instantly. Now, this next part's going to be taking me a while because I need to figure out how to get to that one Praetor suit. Which is our next secret for this level. This one's a bit tricky because it's not really telling you where exactly you need to go for this. Um, <clears throat> I guess he gets over there. Some imps along the way. This is actually a... We've actually technically been to this level before. This is... I think it's the third... No, it's the fourth level. Or third. One of them. It's definitely a level we've been to, but it's all destroyed since, you know, the demons are invading and whatnot. And here's actually an interesting death animation of the uh, Kako Demon. If you hit them hard enough before a glory kill, they'll just start shooting randomly. I think it's if you hit their eye directly and hard enough. <clears throat> they'll just start shooting randomly in random directions. And they'll just die afterwards. Uh, which is interesting because I've never actually, I've never actually seen that death animation before. Yeah, over there where those boosters are is where we're supposed to be heading to. It does take me quite a while to actually get there. And this episode is going to be about 20 or so minutes long because <clears throat> this level itself is about just over 40 minutes. So we're going to be doing like two 21 minute episodes and then, yeah, heading into the next one, really. Yeah, this level is pretty simple. A lot of fights. A lot of fights where you're just out in the open, really. crouching again thinking that the shot chain guns on the C button but it isn't and that's two points for the up close and personal challenge there's me also missing with the gauss cannon it's also a very nice noise that the mobile sentry uses it's just it's a very satisfying noise got another weapon upgrade point gives us up to five I don't think I upgrade anything at the moment. I was contemplating upgrading the plasma rifle's heat wave, but I think I'll, I'm, I am going to be saving that for later. <clears throat> yeah, there's me trying to figure out where the hell we need to go because this place is a tad bit confusing. I'm not really giving you any clear indication of where to go for the secrets. I mean, it gives you the locations, but they're really not too precise as to where exactly you need to go. Where we need to go is through that door that was the that the pointer was telling us to, but I'm still looking around to see if I can find the 
way downward. Now, the way I do it is completely nonsensical because the, it's not the way you're supposed to be doing it at all. Um, but I do it because, you know, I'm a crazy person. That's just how it works. Um, so, yeah, I go from here. And I jump down to there, which is not the place you're supposed to jump down to exactly. There's this spot right here, which I go explore first because there is a fight in here. Very short fight, doesn't really contain all that much. Contains like one Hell Knight and a few other small guys. Getting better with Hell Knights. Definitely getting better with those guys since they're pretty easy to actually take down with the mini or the chain gun. Don't know what happened to that imp. Just got shot a bit too much. I definitely think it's around here. Yeah, you gotta do some. You gotta do some tricky jumps around here. Probably a bit better of the easy maneuverability thing. Exam. What you pretty much gotta do is just use the jump pad to miss where you actually need to go, and just double jump right here to grab the mega health. And if you keep going, you'll find yourself the Praetor suit token. <clears throat> yeah, very simple to get. Might be a bit tricky for first timers, obviously. But yeah. And this is at the point in which I upgrade it to uranium coating. And now we have unlocked the mastery challenge for the deployable turret. And what we need to do is we need to destroy, we need to kill four enemies in one deployment of the chain gun. Okay, did it work? Yes, it did. This is healing power. Once we collect a uh, power up, we are fully healed to our maximum health, which would be right now, which would be 150. <clears throat> Something happens with an <laughs> upgrade to our suit later that actually really irks me as to why it happened. That rune trial right there we can't get to yet. We have to do a big loop around so we can actually get to the place. But for now, we're going to be heading back in, and I think this is the point in where we try to find where the key card is. Because I think this is close near a... Uh, yes, it definitely is. Or it's another... Yep, nope. This is actually where we encountered the pinky. And some glitched out sound, I guess. Alright, so the pinky... It's a pretty simple enemy. We've encountered it in the, the classic Doom level. What you basically gotta do is you gotta either dodge around him or jump over him. And hit him from the backside. Like I said in the Doom classic level, his backside is very weak. But his front side is pretty much armored up by a bunch of hard exoskeleton. They're also very annoying sometimes. As they just keep getting in your face. There is thankfully an equipment item that does actually get some good use. Not too sure if I pick it up. There it is. So you get the hologram. What this does is that if you press it, which I don't do, I actually managed to hit the pinky there with the grenade and it actually damaged it. So what the hologram does, <coughs> excuse me, is that um, <coughs> you basically place down a hologram and it acts as a, a fake doom guy for the duration that it is in. Is it effective? Uh, depends on how you want to use it. I'm also super confused as to, here's the auto map by the way. I also was super confused because I never actually read where you can actually change the uh, <laughs> the the equipment. This is just me hitting every button on the keyboard. Um, it's the F keys. For some weird reason, they decided to make the equipment change buttons the F1 to F3 key, <coughs> which is strange. Which anyway, it's it's definitely out of there, out of the way. Is me actually looking at all the different things for the tutorials. Yeah, F1 or F2. I think, yeah, you cycle, no, you cycle through them with F1 or F2. <clears throat> Which apparently you can also do with the Z and X keys by default. Because Z and X act as you just swapping through guns as well. Instead of just pressing the, the button normally. And it was at this point I was contemplating whether or not to end the episode. But we are going to be going on for just about a minute more. Because right here is going to be showing us where that key card is. It seems like a pinky has taken it, along with the carrier of <laughs> the former carrier. You have taken your key card. You will need to find it. The tram station will not be accessible without proper clearance. 
And that's our knowledge and power challenge complete with uh, three data logs collected. So now we gotta chase down the pinky that has carried off our key card. And this spot will be the final fight of the episode. Now, I can't remember if it's... I can't remember if you're able to kill a pinky from the front with quad damage, or if you still need to hit him from the backside. Because the thing is, I don't think the pinkies are invincible um, from the front. They're certainly more resilient, but I'm not too sure if they're actually invincible or not. It's certainly a mystery, but I'm not really on in the necessity of actually trying it out. <clears throat> and during in the middle of the fight, this thing's not hidden away at all, so you just go you're just free to grab a Praetor suit, just out in the open. Which is strange enough. I mean it works. Is it weird? Yes. <laughs> Is it nonsensical? Sort of. And my goddamn monitor's turned off again. I should probably turn that off while I'm doing that. Doing this. Really need to get the upgrade for the faster weapon mod swapping. This is a resilient revenant. You can get him right here. Yeah, there he goes. And that's going to be the end of the episode because I am going to be stopping here. Because that's where the recording stops. So, <clears throat> um, next time on Doom, we are going to be heading further into the UAC, trying to get that pinky to get our key card, and getting further into the you know area to get the to get to the tram because we need to get the hell out of here and go to the Lazarus facility to find that relic that Olivia was talking we were researching. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, that's what we're going to be doing next time. So, see you guys next time. This is a weird thing, and I do not want to do it for any more episodes, so thank, be thankful that this is only going to be for two episodes. See you guys next time.